Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mother. We're here in the train station at Thanksgiving. And I can already hear people asking, what are you doing here? Are we going to take another train? I thought we already visited all the, all the stops that this train had to offer. Well, we're actually not here to take a train. No, sir, we are here to continue following these tracks east. Uh, but if we come this way, we'll see that the bridge is actually out. So we're going to have to find a way around this. And we're going to do that by heading north, and obviously there is a path for us here, although... I'm not exactly sure... how to navigate this path. Of course, fighting bears isn't going to make us get there any quicker. Okay. That was clearly not the correct way to go, because it was a dead end, obviously. Alright, here we go. And then, yes, yes, it's all coming together. Just go through this weird forest. And here we are in the desert, the Yucca Desert in the uh, NES American translation version of this game. Uh, I can't remember what it's called in this version. Uh, I guess it doesn't have a name. I'm, I'm sure there's got to be a name, but I like to call it the Yucca Desert because that's what it's called in the NES version. And that's how I know it. Alright, so we've got tarantulas here. And, uh, the enemies here do not mess around. I know I've said that many times, but as you can see, neither Ninten nor Lloyd combined could kill a single tarantula, so, oh fuck. No, man, I don't want to, especially Anna. Come on, I don't want her to be poisoned. That is no bueno. Okay, well, god damn it, man. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, now the tarantula bee is gonna poison us, and he's probably gonna call for help too. Da what? How much fucking damage did he do? What do you mean? Oh, I was I was attacking tarantula. A, that's no good. Uh, let's use PK freeze beta. Have Lloyd just attack with his gun, I guess. Oh, fuck you, man. Why you gotta do that? I don't want to. I don't want to run away because I want to get the experience. But goddamn! All right, let's do. I want to get rid of this poison because if I don't, Anna's gonna fucking die immediately. Uh. No, you better not fucking. Better not be no tarantula D. Otherwise, I'm running away. Why can't Ninten get poisoned? Is that some kind of like property that Ninten has, or? Okay, uh, PK Freeze, typically in terms of, uh, offensive PSI attacks, PK Freeze is pretty much, uh, the most standard, it does the most damage, but only on one, oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Fuck you, man. I'm gonna whoop your ass, you're, you're taking up so much time, time that, valuable time, oh, now Lloyd is poisoned too, that's fucking fantastic. Thanks a lot, man. Goddamn tarantulas. I swear to God. They walk on two legs now. They're they're evolving. Soon they're gonna overpower the human race. Okay. I, for one, welcome our tarantula overlords. <sighs> now I gotta do this bullshit and heal Anna and Lloyd. Oh, come on, man. I don't want to sit through this anymore. Jesus. Why can't you just let me say, okay, yeah, I acknowledge that they leveled up. You're gonna have to show me all the stat boost. Okay. Uh, I'll have Ninten use healing because I wanna. Typically, typically I like to save uh, Anna's PP for attacks, and I I like to use Ninten's uh, PP to heal and whatnot. But I'm gonna use Life Up Beta on Lloyd because he lost quite a bit of damage. Okay. Anyway, yes, this is the desert. As you can see, it's. Pretty barren land. And god damn it, no! Okay, we've got Jane. Uh, I believe in the uh, NES version, this enemy is actually called Nancy. I don't really understand where they get the, that name from, but uh, you know what? That's fine. I don't really, I don't really mind it. It's it's a cool name, I guess. Jane Smile Bullet. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! 
I am not about to fucking sit here and fight something with fucking 200 defense. Get out of there. Okay. So, this desert is not only barren, but also very, very vast. It's a vast desert. We got scorpions. Of course, these are going to poison us as well, but fuck that. I don't even need the experience, man. I've got the easy ring. I'm fine. Oh, come on. Don't. You better not. Oh, god damn it. Why? No, not Lloyd. Okay. Come on, man. Thank you, Lloyd. You're the only reliable one here, I guess. Alright, gotta do this again. Fuck. Alright, so you see, there's cacti here and whatnot. Very much a lot of sand. That much is unmistakably true. And we've got a nice little oasis here with a little campsite and a nice looking man with a plane and a tank. I laid landmines in this desert during the war before last. I thought I'd dug them all up, but I just can't seem to find the last one. Best be careful out there. Okay. Oh, do you want to ride my plane? Yes, I do. Which course would you like? Alright, so you basically have three choices, of course. Uh, obviously, they grow more expensive depending on which one you take. Basically, what we're going to need to do... Well, I'll, I'll, I'll just take course A first. Oh yeah, and it costs... You have to buy a ticket for each one of your party members, so keep that in mind. Uh, and you want... Be sure to hang on to your ticket stubs. Collect ten of them and you'll earn a ride in my tank. Ha <laughs> ha, you sure seem happy to hear that. Yeah, so basically we're gonna have to ride this plane ten times. So, <laughs> get used to seeing this cutscene. Um, but if you're gonna come to the Yuka Desert, you wanna make sure that you have at least ten open slots in your inventory. Because if you don't, uh, that's just too bad. You're gonna have to d drop something. So I, I sold all my mouthwash and I made some room for it. So we get a nice little flight over the ocean, over the water, pretty interesting. Getting our 15 bucks worth, that's for sure. You see some ruins over there, we're gonna have to check those out eventually. Some statues, I guess, I don't know. No, those are pillars or whatever, I don't know. Ugh, okay. Alright, so that was course A, let's take a look at course B. 30 bucks for the lot of you. Yeah, and it doesn't it doesn't count just because you buy three tickets doesn't mean you have three ticket stubs either, which is annoying. So taking a trip to the west, back where we came from. We're gonna pass the train station? No, I guess not. Well there's a a river. That's the healer's house, yeah, I think so. Oh, that's our house! Shit! My dog! No one's fed him in weeks. Oh, here's the zoo. It's a nice place. I never knew it was so close to my home, though. Oh, there's Duncan's factory. That place is hell on earth, I tell you what. Oh, flying over. Charles Lindbergh over here, fucking making a solo flight over the Pacific. Even though there's four of us in the plane, so, you know. I don't really know what that was supposed to mean. Alright, now let's take a look at course C. 45 for the lot of us. Yeah, good thing I have a lot of money from selling all that mouthwash, man. Otherwise, I'd be in deep, deep doo-doo. Wouldn't be able to pay for these plane rides. This music is really nice, though. Can only be heard here on the airplane ride. So, <laughs> enjoy it while you can, I guess, while it lasts. Although... I'm sure by the end of this whole ordeal, you're going to be loathing this music after hearing it ten times in a row, so. Some nice rivers. Rivers are always good. We got a train station, I guess. That's... Haven't been there yet, so might want to check that out in the near future. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Okay, and now basically what I'm going to do is just do course A over and over again because it's the cheapest one. So we have to do course A now seven times in a row. Uh, obviously, I'm going to cut that out because no one wants to see. Well, actually, I guess I could end the episode here and then uh, 
I'll, I'll, in the next episode, I'll have the 10 ticket stubs and we can take a ride in the tank. So, I will see you then.